This week's word of the week is going to be leg. Leg is a very important uh, word in the welding industry. Every fillet weld that is done has two legs. We did a mock up of the T joint right here, and you can see this is our fillet weld right here leg one and leg two. Uh, the legs on the illustration here are actually uneven legs. I did that on purpose because we're going to actually measure here at the end uh, fill a wall that we did that has uneven legs so you can kind of see how to measure it and uh, see what an uneven uh, leg looks like. Um, weld size is based off of the leg. So when you look at a fill weld well, and there's a, uh, a weld size for that, you're measuring the actual leg of the weld. That's why it's so important to know where the leg is on a fill weld. Uh, so we have a mock-up of a fill gauge right here. This is the exact mock-up of this right here, actually. So I basically just blew it up here. Um, so to measure this, uh, if it was a one-inch leg size, this little arch right here is going to have a little mark right here. It's going to say one inch. You match that up down here with the leg. So that's one inch. So that if your leg size is supposed to be one inch, you're good to go. The other side of the fill gauge, this one says three quarters of an inch. That's where the legs are in three quarters of an inch. And then it's got this little arch, a flat spot, and then another, another little arch. That's measuring convexity. If you need to at least be flush, it should meet right up with that. If it needs to be convex, that should bump into it, and this should be popped off a little bit. And that's how you measure your convexity or concavity. Uh, usually they want it to be at least a little bit convex on, on a fill weld, so that's what that side of the fill cage is uh, measuring. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at that fill weld, and uh, we'll measure the uneven legs on it, and we'll use our fill gauge here and do it up. This is a quick look at the uh, fill weld we're going to measure. And there's a little bit more on the bottom plate than there is in the top. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's dished down a little bit because it was done in the... Uh, actual uh, 2F position, so it drooped down. Gravity gave us a little problem. We'll go ahead and measure that now. Now we're looking right down that fillet weld, and they actually have the other side in metric for some reason, but that's a 3 8 leg size, and you can see that mark is right on the toe of that weld. So that's a good look at that. That's a proper way to measure that. So if you were at a 3 8 leg size, that's right on the money. Now we're going to use the other side to check the evenness of the two legs as well as check for uh, convexity. Alright, this is the same weld we just looked at and you can see the convexity is actually pushing it away so it has convexity. The bottom leg you can see still lines right up but you can see the top leg is way above it because it's dished. So that tells you that the legs are uneven. Now depending on your welding requirements, that may be acceptable or not acceptable. This is one last view, kind of sideways of the fillet weld, where I just put the fillet gauge um, kind of going parallel to the weld, and you can see that the line is definitely above the top leg of that fillet weld. So hopefully that explains what a leg is, shows you how to measure a weld size. Um, Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.